Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grime, where we have just arrived in the... Or, well, we have arrived in the Feaster Slayer, and we've actually uh, progressed quite a bit into it. Not just arrived. Made it about halfway to our destination, um, according to the non not yet existent map. So who knows how much more... How many more detours we might have to make on the way. Um, also, of course, without the map, it's hard to tell how much I might have missed. However, I did miss one thing... Um, and that is that was the fact that I had been uh, that I had been in the possession of three hunt points for a while without spending them on this ability. And I actually did do that off camera. I'm not really sure why I decided to do that rather than doing it now, because I, I've just been you know running around a little bit before starting this recording just to you know get back into the the controls and and everything. Uh, and I. So I did unlock this, and yeah, that's uh, you know that's a lot of hunt points, five hunt points to get it to this twenty percent increased um, parry window, I suppose, absorb window. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is where I'm going to leave it, because I mean, obviously more would be even better, but this should already help, and it's a lot of points that I obviously could have spent elsewhere. Now as to where to invest next, I mean, more force. Again, 10%, not a huge increase, 20% twice as much um, for twice as many points. Still, only two points. It seems doable. Um, I, don't know. I don't think I need this one. Uh, this seems interesting, but it's so expensive. I mean, that makes it even more interesting because apparently the game considers this really good. But only... Only a, a couple of enemies so far have been pullable, I suppose, and only a couple of their attacks. I don't know. It seems situational. Um, it seems like one of those things that, you know, uh, could be used to great effect, but I'm not sure I would use it to its full potential. And at that cost, I think I'm going to skip this one. Um, this one is... Actually, a very likely candidate. I like this idea a lot because right now the breath healing does not heal for a ton, and this upgrade and being able to, you know, whenever I'm actually able to make use of this increased cast time, I suppose, um, would definitely drastically increase the efficiency of my of my breath. So uh, yeah, there's that. This would be nice if I had any points left over. Not really. Not really seeing that happening anytime soon. Although, honestly, I mean, I, I could respec, and I've been thinking that, you know, I've, I haven't really found myself making, being able to make use of this uh, increased damage with, uh, you know, at high ardor quite as much as I expected to, because the game has just become harder. So, um, yeah, I find myself kind of struggling to, to actually keep that keep that high order going but you know it, it's nice when it's there it's very noticeable that damage increase or very noticeable when you when you lose it so you know anyway what else uh, maximum health obvious choice to go for so I think I want to go um, yeah the, the charged heal then one more level in maximum force maybe a little bit of health this is kind of cheap. I mean, 25% increase for damage for one hunt point. Honestly, not bad. Not a bad deal. That go does go up pretty drastically. But 25% is a very substantial increase. Honestly. Uh, this one's interesting, but I'm not sure how much use I would get out of that. Damage done for 15 seconds after repelling an attack. So, repelling is just for enemies that can't be absorbed, right? It's just when I... Use absorb. Basically, when I when I parry them on time, they just can't be absorbed. I don't know. I think that's what it is. I'm not aware of a separate repel mechanic unless that's something I I unlock. Anyway, uh, oh right, I also meant to actually level up. Right, uh, and I was working toward more health. Get more of a benefit out of my 30% increase, so... 
There we go. And while wandering around, I discovered one thing up here. This is the path that led us to um, to uh, the, the part connecting up to Lithic. And uh, it's actually right here. And I thought, I was trying to, to see if there was a, a passage to my to the right here. The only thing that made me suspicious was this kind of uh, sharp edge of the, of the foreground, you know, blocking the background. Um, and I just dashed into it. And indeed, there is an opening here. There's another uh, shard. Not a chunk, a shard, but that's good. We had enough shards already, though. The biggest problem is uh, actually getting back to the smith. But, yeah, again, hoping to find uh, one of those nerf passes sometime soon that I can actually make use of. Right, but for now, we move forward. I also, oops, I also still have this lantern equipped. Oh, you know what? I wanted to pay attention. 11 resonance. And still 11 resonance. Because it says bonus resonance, right? So is that actually, does that actually mean? I mean, it doesn't seem to, to mean that I actually gain more resonance when I equip this. In fact, I mean, it, it clearly isn't the case. So... Uh, I wonder why it's not why it doesn't say resonance bonus instead, which would make more sense. I, don't, I wonder if that's a just a translation thing, or I don't know, or if it's or if it signifies something that I'm something else from what I'm imagining. Anyway, um, yeah, it's an interesting one, but uh, I don't know if it's something that I really want to use a lot. That's the enemy that's lying in wait, and I wasn't ready for that guy to attack, so delay. There are three of them here. Wait, no, that's one of them actually. Oh, yep. Teleported over. Hmm. These things I still don't understand. I kind of want to see what happens. Okay, so in order to actually get attacked and, well, killed by them, I suppose, you have to just not jump through, but land on the teeth? What a weird... What a weird trap. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that it has to be intended as a trap, but... It's so inefficient, ineffective as a trap. What am I doing? Ah, stamina again. That just keeps happening. Can you... Attack me? Wow, okay, that was definitely the uh, improved parry window at work there, because that definitely would have been way too late without the upgrade. But yeah, nice. I also appreciate that those projectiles don't actually damage myself. Um, I must have been up here. I can only assume, but um, of course without a map, kind of hard to tell. Um, grabbing that breath would be a bit of a waste. I prefer to grab some breath naturally. Okay, buddy, you need to get out of here. Attack me, please. What? Wait. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Attack me, please. Ah, I wasn't quite in range. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> Not ideal, but uh, I didn't die, so that's nice. Okay, nothing I can do here. I don't think I've been over there. I don't remember. That's another one of those uh, acid, whatchamacallit, right? The, uh, the spitters. Pretty sure I haven't encountered a second one. Oops. Oh, that's... Uh, yep. A little bit of a fall. Can you jump up here? Weirdly shaped ceiling? I guess not. Oh. Right here I can probably safely fall. Yeah. 
Oh, that's where I died, apparently. Oh yeah, I can see why. Or to what. Huh? Interesting how I managed... I, I damaged that one. But it somehow didn't notice me or didn't get activated. Okay, shard field. The 25% damage reduction, I think. The better version of that. Oh, what was that? I'll oh, just rocks to break. Gotcha. What is that? That looks like a trap. What is that? Huh? Oh, that was breakable. Interesting. That. Okay. Another shard. Nice, nice. Nice finding more of those. Yeah, this is really dark. Oh, this could be the nerve pass. Maybe. Oh, it could have been, but it wasn't. Something else entirely. Oof. Oh. Heal. Stamina. Wait for all of it. Oh, okay. When it's coming out of the ground, it doesn't seem to damage me immediately, but there seems to be some kind of weird secondary attack. Also, there it actually was pullable for a second. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, after it does that... That was nasty. Uh oh, stamina. I. Okay. I thought I uh, I successfully pulled it and staggered it. I was also completely out of stamina after that uh, sequence of actions, so that was unfortunate. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I had a lot of trouble reading its attacks and what I was trying to do. Also, you know, I uh, well, I still like the idea of this lantern, but it again, it's not really useful against single targets, which are the biggest problem usually, you know, the, the, the individual strong enemies, rather than the swarm of enemies. And against swarms of enemies, I still don't want to use it, because it... I know, when, whenever I'm using it against multiple enemies... I kind of feel like I need to attack super quickly to build up stacks a lot, but that makes me sloppy and makes me miss actually, you know, dodging attacks and causing me to 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 lose a lot of health and and die more often than not. Um, and you know, those those smaller enemies that come in great numbers are typically also easily killed with normal means. So while I find it super fascinating and I find it, you know, it's a, it's a shame to not use such a more unique weapon. I also don't feel like I like I can use it very effectively. Um, plus the fact that it's uh, actually convenient to have a two-handed weapon because that's the only way to break certain breakable walls or floors specifically. And uh, not having that available to swap to is uh, kind of annoying. There I go pressing D-pad instead of uh, stick again. Like for example, this allows me to slam any suspicious looking floors like this quickly so yeah lanterns I don't know what did that actually hit me Ugh, wow well well nope don't do it don't do it I wish it was a little bit clearer, just visually, whether an enemy is or isn't quite, uh, you know, the health bar is or isn't quite past that, uh, that line indicating whether it can be absorbed.
I guess when it's when it seems to be basically on the line, exactly. Also, that was a sad sequence of events there. When it's basically on on the line, I should just assume that it's not past the line yet and act accordingly. That would be the, the safest thing to do. I would like to quickly absorb an enemy. I think I haven't actually ever been down there, right? No, wait, I have. Okay, thanks for the absorb and the breath. Should have absorbed that one, but oh well. Actually, there is free... Oops. Uh, free breath of stairs? Which I should grab. What's that here? I don't know. Yes, okay. Right, but this is just a dead end. Unless I can... Where did... Oh. You teleported up here. I get it. I get it. I kind of wasn't, wasn't expecting that. And now it's kind of lost track of me. Okay, well, it's fine. Yeah, I keep forgetting that that's going to happen there. Here, I can't, can't safely drop. And this is where I want to go. Wait, or is it? This is not where I was before. Okay. <sighs> Did I mention that I need a map? Wow, okay, I'm, I was all the way down there? Oh, I remember the secret passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was right in thinking that this seemed unfamiliar. Right, I did open this though. The very dark place, oh no. Uh, I should probably heal already, which is kind of a shame, but you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, also, how do you, all right, you go to the correct tab, press the correct buttons. Let's see here, um, I could try to make use of a damage increase. I have a lot of these. Um, what exactly does this sand do again? Oh yeah, um, more absorb, that's right. I mean, technically, technically useful, for sure. Thrown to explode? Actually, I've never thrown one of these, so let's see how those work, maybe. Not sure if I want to use them in this combat specifically, but in general. And I was also thinking debris field for the damage reduction. Might as well put it on the bar, or else I'm never going to use it, obviously. So, okay. Well, let's activate this and the charcoal stuff and see how long those last. Okay. Wait, no, this is not okay. Also, stamina! Stamina! Oh. Wait. Cheese potential? No. God! Wait, it's, it's actually escaped. <gasps> what? What was that? Teleport? I mean, I'm... I'm so dead. <laughs> There's no way. Um, God, I wish there was some kind of way to heal. I suppose there is. Fill a bar of breath. Half a bar of breath. That feels like such a waste. You can't even use it from the menu. Can you? No. You absolutely have to equip items to use them. How much is half a bar? Okay, so half of what what is required for healing. That is what the game calls a bar, not one of those segments. <sighs> oh, it's also 
it's also half of my my overall bar so it's more than two segments because i have five it's two and a five uh, two and a five two point five two and a half <laughs> segments okay it's not even gonna heal me to full but i mean at this point i kind of have to Ah, uh, definitely a waste. Okay. Oh god, it's still there. No! What are you... What are you actually doing? Going completely wild down there. Ah, uh, well, I mean, it's waiting there for me. Let's not keep it waiting for much longer. Whoa! Okay, you actually just dropped that. And it's gonna blow after a while, huh? Please come back, come back. Hmm. Oh, that was a whiff. What? Why did you turn that way? What? Okay. No, took completely out of stamina again. It comes back so slowly. Yes, I know there is an item that completely refills your stamina all at once. No, he's stuck. Nope. Only temporarily, though. Only until he teleports again. And this is kind of cheesy. It's kind of half cheesy. But I'm not safe. Okay, that can't be absorbed. Nope. That couldn't be absorbed. I tried to dodge out of stamina again because I... Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going great, isn't it? I don't know why I have so much trouble dealing with that enemy. I mean, I'm trying to, to analyze what's going wrong so terribly and fundamentally. I mean, the, the non-absorbable attack is well enough telegraphed, obviously. That's not the problem. Although I think it also has like a slightly different attack that has a uh, that kind of reaches behind it. Okay, I again wasn't ready for the enemy to teleport that far to you know follow me that far. Um, I wonder if that straight projectile hit it from this distance. No, I guess it. It doesn't spawn until you actually walk over over it and it comes out of the ground. No, okay. Um, yeah, at one point it, it kind of did a follow-up attack seemingly that reached behind it and hit me, I think. Um, so that was a bit rough. Also, did that enemy not actually, that just now, not actually damage me? I was, I was sure it actually hit me, but I guess not, my, because my health seems to be full. So that's nice. Um... Right, uh, yeah, and, and then it, I mean, it mostly just hides underground and pops up beneath me, which I'm assuming damages me, and I I was kind of trying to absorb that when it came out, because it was in absorb range, of course, uh, the time before when it killed me. But I don't know if it actually uh, actually counts as, a, as an attack, and I'm kind of unsure about what exactly it does after that. I definitely overuse dodges. Which leads to me, yeah, wasting a lot of, uh, a lot of stamina, focus. Okay. Hmm. The pulling doesn't really seem to be doing much of anything, to be honest. Okay, heal. Unless I'm too late? I mean, I certainly wasn't too late there, right? Oh, okay. I mean, it didn't stop it from attacking at all. <laughs> As demonstrated there. Come on, come on, follow me, please. <gasps> Perfect. Didn't deal a ton of damage, honestly. For, for how kind of awkward that was to use, but... I'll take some damage over none. What? Oh, that damage! I was so sure that I had it there. Well, I mean, had it 
within absorb range anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, I really don't know what it is about that enemy that gives me so much trouble. It doesn't seem like it should be any harder than some of the enemies I've dealt with. But oh well. Don't even know how many times I've died to it now. Way too many, that's for sure, but... Okay, guess the small crawlers aren't actually following me anymore? Okay, um, items. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Molten Blob, I guess I can see why they're cheaper than the, uh, whatever these eyes are called. Well, it's all eyes, but it makes sense, I guess. Just because they're way more awkward to use. I don't know if the damage is a lot less or, or better. Seems to be in a similar range. Um... I mean, the breath refill is nice to have, but they're so limited that I kind of hesitate to have them on the bar. Maybe, you know, instead actually have the sand. Next absorb grants 100% more breath. Well, of course, I'm not going to do a lot of absorbing, except for the one final absorb, hopefully, against the uh, against this enemy here. I will continue, or will once more use these two buffs. They do seem to last a good while. Oh, hey, I actually damaged this guy? Unexpected. Okay, he teleports immediately. Oh, I kind of interrupted him there? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm disappointed by how little the pull seems to do. Little as in basically nothing. So, completely out of stamina. Definitely need more of that. Or honestly, more stamina regen would be nice. Okay, let it all come back. Oh, and then the... I guess the hitbox is not exactly helping me. The fact that... <laughs> you know, it seems like my weapon connects perfectly, and then he attacks twice super quickly and kills me and wow <sighs> okay <laughs> all right I mean I'm I'm sorry but I'm not gonna stop until I defeat this guy this uh, the real the real boss fight is that random hunt enemy Absorbing, actually. Holy crap, I was out of stamina. Lucky to get enough back to attack in time. I don't know why I randomly decided to... Decided that it was worth to fight those guys. I guess on the plus side, I can get back to where I died very quickly, so... It's not really that big of a deal in that regard. Oh god, it's already active. Oh god. I mean, I suppose uh, if I, you know, the pull would make a lot more sense or would do a whole lot more if I had that uh, the respective talent. Also, I only now notice that it actually starts with a red bar for me to absorb. So if I could just, I could just go ahead and absorb the very first attack and get a bit of a head start. Nope. Stamina. Stamina. <sighs> okay. I mean, I was a little bit far away there, but still, it looked like I should connect. I feel like the hitboxes here are a little bit less generous than they could be. Ow, 
dodge. Also, is he actually in absorb range? Well, he is now. We just have to actually wait for him to pop out off the ground and be ready for the quick backhand swing. Did I not? Oh, okay. <sighs> Jesus, finally. Prey hunt complete. Your prey found, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that was absolutely awful. <sighs> okay. Wait. Lurker. Oh, grow to... Uh, absorbing attacks heals the vessel. <sighs> That's amazing. That's probably going to be expensive, though. That seems like a really good ability. I mean, obviously... Absorbing is already healing, but, you know, future healing. But with this, it's actually future and current healing. I mean, I guess it depends on how much it heals for, but even a little bit would be would be nice. And kind of also would make sense, right? It feels like that's what absorbing things should already do. Um, but yeah, if, if that's not prohibitively expensive, then that's a very clear candidate. Possibly even uh, taking priority over that, uh, that regular heal buff or the you know the chargeable heal anyway flower fighter <laughs> okay didn't even realize he was supposed to be a flower the garden flowers are scions of the child the child yes that might have been mentioned before uh, they leech the breath from others and carry it back to the one it was originally meant for to guide its formation oh yeah I, yeah i'm pretty sure it has been talked about flowers who leech breath from sword wielders learn to wield swords themselves uh, pull them back out to cut off their escape. Oh, is that is that all you do to you, you stop them from doing their attack where they pop out of the ground under you? Mm, I guess. I don't know. It. Yeah, but it, I mean, I I would still prefer to actually at least briefly stun them, but that does not seem to be the case at all. When I, the the one or two times I was trying to take advantage of them, after pulling them out of the ground, I guess. They immediately counterattacked. So yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> don't really see the, the real benefit of that, especially considering that allowing them to come out of the ground and attack you that way is the only way to really uh, be able to parry them or, or absorb them. Anyway, increases force regeneration speed. Exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I guess we have just gained. Two new abilities that I absolutely need, absolutely want. And we have N, N? We have A hunt point. Out of who knows how many I need. Oh, this is kind of unfortunate. I'm also not in the best position to be moving forward into unknown territory. But, uh, well, it's where we are. Can I actually carry those back? I absolutely cannot. Did I try that before? I might have. I don't know. I mean, they are projectiles, right? You think? Can it dash through without taking damage? I'm not actually sure. Um. Oh. Well, that was fortunate. <laughs> I kind of realized too too late that I forgot to pull out the thing, or that I should have pulled that out of the wall before even attempting the jump. Um. And then I probably should have just fallen into what looks like acid that would have killed me at my low health. But I instead happened to hold right, I suppose, and landed directly in here. And there's actually a free heal as well. As well as um, a splinter, no, a shard, and a chunk. Is that right? No, that's an enemy. That's not something nice at all. Okay. It's not a hunt point enemy. Oh, interesting. Wait, didn't I attack it from the front before? I guess I was attacking it while it was kind of upright. Okay, regenerate. Attack it from behind? Okay, it can attack toward the back. Also, while it's down like that, it cannot be damaged at all. 
Nope. Okay, one or two more hits and I should be able to absorb it. Come on. Come on. Might be in range? That was so early. Okay. Phew. Shell Lurker, one out of two. Okay. I guess they are kind of rare then, if only two are required. Shell Lurker. Presumably some sort of defensive ability, if I had to guess. An ancient lurker, as satiated and in search of a safe place in which to hide, was drawn to the beauty of a glimmering shell. It is quite nice. Maybe these are farmable for upgrade materials? I mean, it kind of looks like those upgrade crystals, obviously. Uh, force them out of the ground from a safe distance. How would you do that? From a safe distance. I mean, I wouldn't mind being able to do that. Oh, hello. Bit of a shortcut, I guess. What does that allow you to bypass the, the spitter, I suppose? Oh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure if I can reach that. I mean, it looks like I almost can. Maybe it's actually the only way back out. Never mind. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. Okay. That almost got me. Um, let's just not deal with that guy. Although, he's, yeah, okay, there's another one as well. Come on. Not quite enough. I'm tempted to try and defeat that guy down there. Although he's kind of in, a, in an awkward position where I can't get to him very well. If I land on this little platform, he's likely to get a hit on, uh, get a hit in on me. <sighs> of course, one more absorption and I could heal. Oh, he's noticed me. Yes, awesome. Wait for stamina. Attack once. Absorb. Awesome. Okay. Feel a little bit safer now. Um, well, there's definitely stuff below, but um, I'm not ready to find out how much damage that poison gas or acid deals. Probably a lot, if I had to guess. Whoa, a little bit of a hiccup there. Wait, oh, you're a, an acid lurker. Whoa, okay. That worked out. Uh, let's see, we're still a bit away from that from that boss, presumably. Oh, oh, I noticed the, 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 the map marker thingy. And there's a save point here, yeah, okay. That purple glow. I was just about to say, I wonder if there's another save point closer to the boss. I wasn't expecting it to be right here, I expected it to actually be a bit further along, but, you know, I'll take it. Okay, let's actually take a look at our latest abilities. Let's see here. This one. Uh, heals for 4%. Oh, that's, yeah. It's cheap, but it's not very powerful. But I mean, it's 4% healing for every absorption, and technically I'm doing that a lot. I should be doing that a lot. I guess for a total of 20% health, if I were to upgrade it fully, which of course I'm probably not going to do. I don't know, depending on how, how plentiful hunt points end up being. Uh, repelling will let you heal from weapon damage for the same percentage for a duration. Oh, interesting. So even against enemies that can't be absorbed, so long as you successfully parry their attack, I guess, you still get some healing. Oh. Huh. I mean, that sounds like re getting repelled is even better, or repelling the attack is even better. If every single hit of your from from your weapon deals for four percent, heals for four percent. Oh. Anyway, and this one is... Oh, that also only one... 15% force regen speed for for one hunt point. What? Oh. Wait. The flower fighter wasn't a hunt enemy. I didn't even realize. Wow. That was just a normal enemy? Was it... Guarding something special? I guess the biggest... The, the big reward was 
actually getting unlocking this ability, this trait, which seems absolutely amazing at, for this cheap price as well. I mean, okay. I could probably also have leveled up, right? I kind of don't want to <laughs> spend that amount of time now. You know, that incredible amount of time that it would take to activate the, uh, the surrogate again. Let's see if I can reach the... Uh, oh, that's on the other side of a breakable wall. Again, the game taunts me like this. You know what? In that case, uh, I don't know. Oh, 40 minutes? I'm sure 20 minutes of that have been trying to defeat that flower guy. If not more. It's kind of insane. Okay, you know. Disregard what I just said. I'm just gonna quickly do this. More health, you know. Maybe maybe less death. That's the idea anyway. I guess I... Uh, well, I mean, I... Can continue... Or, you know, continue going in the opposite direction of where I'm supposed to go. Let's see how far I can go in this direction. Whoa, hey, you're kind of crazy looking. Make for focus. Wait, you can be... Your normal attack can be absorbed for some damage. Oh, you're a hunt enemy. Well, okay. Stamina. Okay, so I can pull him while he's kind of jumping back or something? Yeah, okay, I could have if I had been ready. Okay, oh, he's sometimes also doing a small forward charge. Oh, interesting. want to make sure I can... Oh, oh I, that was the absolute wrong button. Okay, I mean, compare this to the Flower Warrior. Maybe they're just... Maybe they are just that difficult. <laughs> but, I don't know, I still feel like I am I messed up and it shouldn't have been that hard. But I, I feel kind of redeemed for getting this guy so easily. But he's just... I don't know. It felt so much easier. And obviously it, it must have been easier in some way. Whatever. Uh, Tongue Brute... These brutes came to acquire a taste for the feast beyond that of simple, forgetful satiation. Long-range sweeping attacks, careful dodging and observance is required. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I did that. But I, I was also trying to do that against a flower warrior and flower fighter. And uh, that didn't work out so well. Increases damage done for a short while after pulling an enemy. Okay, again with the pulling. I mean, yeah, I, it sounds nice, but... How often are you really going to do that? And you're not going to do that against every enemy. So it's necessarily... Ugh, I forgot that it's, it was going to go through the platform. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's not going to be effective against every single enemy. And not, you know, and not all the time. So it feels... Limited in its usefulness. Oh, this is... Uh, I don't think I can make that. Unless I can land... Like, Oh, okay. I totally can land on the side of it. Even though it seems... Uh, it seems like a bit of an oversight. Oh, God. Okay. Also, <laughs> be really careful. I guess I got super lucky the first time around. Hmm. Doesn't feel like something you're supposed to be able to do. But you can, so I will. So have I been down there? Yeah, totally, okay. Absolutely. Is there something here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, this is... Oh, I guess this was never... Supposed to be hidden. Oh, okay. Generous uh, grab hitboxes. 
Huh. Uh oh. Okay. Just close the distance quickly. That guy is using my lantern projectiles. Pretty much. Oh god. Oh, I didn't quite get him. No. Wait, and that's a small tongue enemy. Oh god. Oh god. Destroy it! You can't destroy them. Oh, you can probably just parry them back. Right? They're probably just projectiles. I mean, they're kind of not really projectiles. They're self-propelled. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know now. You know what? Uh, just to ensure that that wasn't actually the way forward all along. I'm gonna briefly scout in this direction and see uh, where did that guy go? Oh? What did I just break? Is that a breath crystal? Or well, something yellowish? But kind of small? Ouch! You jerk. I absolutely did not see you there. Okay. Totally can be repelled. That, well, being aware of that would have made that, uh, that other section there a lot easier to deal with. Please, don't. Just don't. Come on. Why? No! Oh, so early. Okay. I don't know. I... <laughs> I lost my touch entirely. Let's try that again. Oh, this is not this is not my best episode. I mean, I've made good progress, I suppose. I can't really complain in that regard. Oh, also, I did actually regain a hunt point in the meantime, or regain not not regain but gain. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the tongue roots ability. Okay, increases all damage done by twenty percent for three seconds. Three seconds? That's not great. Also, it's unfortunate that you, that you can't take a look at uh, future levels to see whether it stacks damage or duration. Because honestly, I would kind of prefer duration. Or both, of course, if possible. 10% more damage and one extra second per perk point would be nice, but yeah, I don't, it's probably just damage. Three seconds, so maybe one or two attacks if you retaliate immediately. Which I guess will be possible in many cases. But uh, yeah, first and foremost, force regen speed, please. This, this should be quite noticeable, hopefully. Let's see. I'm gonna deplete it immediately. I guess dodging is the way to deplete it. Uh, I mean, I guess a single, a single uh, point isn't really gonna be that noticeable. Man, I really was hoping to finish the episode with that uh, with that map, but apparently no such luck. Ah, again, where did he actually escape to? Before I thought he was gonna appear, or that he was was gonna be over here. Down here? That was a breath thing that I accidentally destroyed that way. Interesting. Yeah, but he just isn't anywhere to be seen. Hmm. Strange. Maybe he can... Maybe he'll reset? Oh, he's just gone. He just pieces out. I mean, understandable, but also a little bit annoying. What's over here? That's just a... No? That's not permanent. Oh, that's where I, where I came from. Don't mind me. What's below here? Let's find out. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is where I died. Didn't realize... That was the big guy. Okay, well... Also, that is where the spitter hangs out now. Okay. 
I didn't see the new prey absorb, but I guess we did. Or not absorbed, but head lurker. Uh huh. An unformed head became the home of this fly infested lurker. Satiated lurkers prefer to be left alone. These ones will run away, stopping only to release more flies. Right. They're also more dangerous looking than they are. Wait. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Especially interesting that I got a sneak peek into the uh, into that area unexpectedly. Not really sure how that worked. But yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I but yeah, I was I should just be able to do this. When I first saw this setup, I, I thought I was I somehow ir irrationally thought I was just gonna teleport straight into that poison pool and then I would have to climb out quickly before I die, assuming it doesn't just insta kill. Which it which it absolutely might not. I mean, maybe it doesn't deal nearly as much damage as I think. Also, now I see that there's just an item there, so... Uh, you know, or maybe I can just drop to the bottom, pick that up, and die. And, you know, big deal if that's the case. Or maybe I can even make it out. But it, it seems like there likely is some kind of way to just become immune or much more resistant to the stuff. I mean, like I just said, okay, it's not instant death. It's kind of a lot of damage, but uh, manageable. Huh, there might be a passage to the right. It's hard to tell. There might be stuff down there. That was kind of unnecessary because I can just do this. And heal some more now. Oh, this is a one-way gate. So actually, that might actually be the boss arena, in fact. The marker is a bit further off, but um, absolutely might be. Uh, how much do I have? I have this one thing. That's not enough for a level up. It would be if I kill just a few more things. Have I actually gone up here? Don't think I have. Okay. But I missed this before. Also, it's kind of strange how you cannot really. Well, these things work uh, differently from the um, those swimming sw swinging pull platforms. No, never mind. I guess you can sometimes uh, manage to pull them out and then land on them or climb up on them. Uh, this looks nasty. I guess it's not that bad, actually. Might be awkward to go in the opposite direction, though. Okay, we grab this. Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, that should work better. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought I was holding up before, but maybe not up enough. Somehow. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that can be broken from the other side. Interesting. Uh, I don't remember what was below that. Was it just not something obvious, or...? Oh. Interesting. To reach the the breakable side of this first. Oh, huh, okay. God, what am, what am I getting myself into? Uh, also, that up there is extremely awkward. I'm gonna. Hmm. Wait, maybe. Oh yeah, that is enough. Okay, that one's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna respawn. But since it falls through the platform, I can just do this. Is this where I want to be, though? Oh, that absolutely looks like a situation where I'm supposed to be able to dash in midair. Jump through the first one, dash through the second one. Of course, it might be possible to land on the on the rightmost edge of the second set of teeth, or even on the leftmost set of the first one, and then dash from there. Uh, it seems tight, though. And if I fail, I'm... Well, I, I'm not dead, but I lose a lot of health. Could it be worth it? I mean, it could be. It might be. 
it might no I'm I don't know this seems more more optional ah oh, yeah okay jump way too far dang it <laughs> I mean what I'm thinking is that it could potentially lead to the the beacon and unlock the map but that's by no means guaranteed this looks oh uh, yeah this doesn't look good Dash? Not far enough. Will it chomp me while I'm while I jump through it? Probably. You know, if it does. Oh, okay. I just can't jump far enough. That's another possibility, of course. All right. So another strong indicator for future upgrade. Mid-air dash. Okay. What an episode. Still no map. I mean, the map is right above here. Right right here, basically. Probably, judging by those sparkles, but so far. Who knows how far, really. There's so much down here that I didn't fully explore. Actually, before I end the episode... Uh, where was that? Was it over here? I think so, yeah. I'll just go ahead and grab this item. If I die, I die. Um, didn't even die. Okay. Tarbite tooth. A uh, tarbile tooth. Worth it? I don't know. I mean, yes, obviously. No item left behind. I also did find, speaking of items, I did find uh, the latest... Oh no, actually, wait. Hollow root, legs and hands, jaw plate... Oh, interesting. Did I find these? Um, has to be, right? I, I absolutely don't remember finding uh, the jaw plate legs. I, I know that I found uh, some hands somewhere and didn't acknowledge that in any way at the time. Uh, must be these, because obviously these are, uh, you know, kind of linked to this area here. Give a, a bonus to the Tongue Brute. That's the damage increase after after pull, right? Uh, also, a strength increase. Um, defeated by the wielder of a strange blade, and in honor of their duel, the Jaw Beast had its beauty preserved in this blade. Okay. The Jaw Beast. So, cool looking armor set, it looks like. Judging by these two pieces. Kind of samurai-like, perhaps? Although, probably not something for me. I mean, obviously not, because strength bonus. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, there there must be some, some armor set in the future that uh, actually gives a resonance bonus. But for the time being, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with having the health bonus. Even though the uh, boulder head uh, doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I mean, I guess it it would help me, but oh well. Huh. Okay, managed to actually kill him in time this time. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the episode here. I mean, yeah, totally should do that. Uh, maybe I can. Well, I will actually. Rewatch my uh, re well, rewatch this episode and and uh, try to identify the paths that I uh, might have seen but not explored, so I can uh, fix that and you know go back because I absolutely don't remember. I I feel like I've like passed by half a dozen intersections that I didn't fully explore. Obviously, especially further to the right from here. Um, I could also just drop into what looks like that boss arena and see how that goes. I have become a little bit disheartened by that, by, by how the fight against that uh, flower fighter went, but I don't know. Uh, maybe it was just supposed to be super difficult and it wasn't just me. I mean, after all, I did have a much, much easier time against the, uh, the actual hunt enemy here. So, yeah, who knows. Um, we'll see what I feel like doing. Uh, probably more exploration, honestly. Uh, although, without a map, it's... I don't know 
feels kind of pointless because I'm bound to just miss so much, and I'm going to have to do a lot of backtracking anyway. So maybe just see if I can... Uh, if, if indeed there is a boss fight right here. And if I can deal with it. I mean, obviously I will deal with it. <laughs> the, the only question is, how many more times... How many times do I die before I win? But uh, yeah, maybe I'll just... Uh, Try to find out next time. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.